I'm Taylor Larson. I'm a record producer, mixer, and as of lately, the founder of a software company. I've worked with artists like Asking Alexandria, Periphery, From First to Last, Within Temptation, and I've designed and mixed software for artists like Mario from Gojira, Jay Weinberg from Slipknot, Aaron from Under Oath, Tony Royster Jr., Thomas Pridgen, and countless others. My journey with Amphion begun in 2016. I remember it was at the point where I was just trying out tons of different things and I saw a post on a message board about them and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna buy them and see what happens. At this point, I was struggling with translation with my other monitors that I you know, had and I brought the Amphions in and I thought, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna put them up and do a mix from the ground up. This mix was a test mix to get a record with a really big band that I was working with at the time. And I remember I put the Amphions up and I thought, man, I'm not doing a good job. I worked so hard on this mix and it was really tough. They really worked me hard. And I remember thinking, okay, I think this is kind of good. And I got to the car and I, I took the balance. I listened in the car and I thought, wow, this is like, insane the translation i've never had speakers that translated it's crazy I, i'd mixed on ns10s before that and everybody said that they translated so well but i always went to the car and i always heard all these different things that like didn't work with the amphion it was like everything was 10 times better than what i thought in the studio so that was the first time that i really understood what translation was and as far as that mix you know, I, I mixed that against a bunch of people that I would consider my idols. And so, you know, getting the call back and, and realizing you got this mix over a ton of other engineers and mixers that you look up to, it was insane for me. And so that's my first experience with Amphion loudspeakers. One thing I've noticed about Amphions that I haven't gotten with other speakers is that they're extremely consistent. They work really well in any room, whether it's treated or untreated. And I don't know if it's to do with the fact that there's a passive radiator on the back that kind of loads each room in the same way. But for some reason, they don't really require as much room treatment as other monitors for them to sound right and kind of translate. So after I had Amphions for a bit, I decided to kind of take a break and venture into other monitors and experiment and just see what I could get. And the one thing that's crazy is that I've never gotten translation with any other monitor. So I went back to Amphion recently and got that same translation as when I first started. And that's just insane to me that a company has figured out how to give you a tool that allows you to do the things that you think are the right things on the monitor and it just works. It's like, it's the least amount of mix notes I've ever gotten from any artist ever. It's crazy. I'll finish a mix, I'll send it to an artist and there's literally no feedback. Like, it's like, this is right from the get go. I've never had that with any other monitor. It's like, I'll do something on something else and I'll go home and I'll hear like 12 things that I wanna change. With Amphion, it's like, no, it's all right and it's perfect. I've decided to have them in every single room in our software Mixwave headquarters studio so that when I bounce between different rooms and work working on different projects, I can know that that translation and what I'm hearing is gonna be the exact thing that it is.